Hey guys, I'm going to get right into the video in just one moment, but before I do that, I want to ask you what your favorite tank is to see in my videos when I explain or talk about a topic. I know some of these shots can get a little bit boring and repetitive, but I do promise that I'm going to change something up soon. Now let's talk about the color of substrate. So the color of substrate is often overlooked or not really thoroughly thought about. Most people get the cheapest option or what they think looks the best. But let's find a way to make the best color of substrate choice using science. So before we go any further, just a disclaimer, I want to address the fact that the color of substrate I recommend will make your fish look brighter leading to it looking better. However, there are some tank setups that do look great and do not follow my suggestions. After this is all said and done, this video is just something for you to consider while setting up a tank and by no means is it a must follow set of rules and I just want to help a little bit. So let's get into the video now. There are a few things that we can do to greatly enhance the look of our aquariums using some basic physics to help. First of all, many of us know that something that is white is white because it reflects all colors of the color spectrum. Something that is red absorbs all colors except red. Something that is blue only reflects blue and black absorbs all colors. Now how can we use this knowledge to our advantage? Take a moment to ask yourself did you get your fish tank for your substrate to stand out or did you get your fish tank for your fish to stand out? The answer is obvious. We all want our fish to look the best that they can. Many things that we do to make our fish look good include doing more water changes, getting brighter lights, scrubbing the glass, and the list just goes on and on. Some of these tasks take a lot of time and can get quite costly. What if we make our fish look better without doing any extra work or paying any extra money? Let's talk about substrate color again. If we want to make our fish look as bright as possible, what color substrate should we use? The answer is simple, white. The white substrate will reflect all light in every direction. Some light will reflect onto your fish, fish, causing a shimmering, brighter look of the fish. Contrary to white, black substrate would absorb the light, causing the fish to look rather drab. Do you not believe me? I've tried both color substrates throughout my time in the hobby, and every single time, every single tank that I set up, no matter what fish are inside, I have consistently noticed considerable improvements while using white substrate. Although I have always thought that black substrate looks nicer and cleaner, I have come to realize that if the fish in the tank look good, it does not really matter what the substrate looks like. Still don't believe me? I challenge you to just take a 10 gallon tank or any clear tub, fill it with a thin layer of white substrate and then set it up with a light. Then, after getting a good look at it, siphon out the white substrate and add a thin layer of black substrate. There will be a noticeable difference. Why would we invest so much money on improving our light lighting systems if we can improve them without spending any additional money and just get just by getting a different color substrate to begin with? Since it basically has the same aesthetic functions as substrate color, it is important to note the background color of your tank. Background color can be just as, if not more important, as substrate. With the background color, you have slightly more flexibility than substrate because many colors will work and still keep the natural look that many people go for. My suggestion would be to stick to lighter colors so it reflects most of the light. Same properties of the substrate. A light background will make the fish and the entire tank look brighter. Also, I recommend trying to complement your fish. For example, if you have a dark red fish, a light blue background would be perfect. And opposite, if you have a blue fish, a light red background would be great. To be safe with aquarium backgrounds, I suggest to stick to solid, non-distracting colors. Also, if you want to be extra cautious, with your background choice, I would suggest to either get a light blue, white, or gray background because those work with basically any fish. Another really good tip that I cannot stress enough is to get a background 
that is not permanent. Although it may be slightly more expensive and take a little bit more work to set up, you will be able to change the background if you ever desire. I fell victim to actually painting one of my tanks and I ended up not liking the color and that was a big mistake because I couldn't really change it that easily. If you wanted to make, and like another example is if you wanted to make a complete different look in the same tank, a painted on background would just be really hard to deal with and you don't want to do that. So I think I covered enough in this video for one day. In the comments below let me know what you think about this video. Do you think that there really would be a difference based on the substrate color? Or do you think that this vi video is just bogus? Let me know either way. And also let me know what color substrate you have in your aquarium and if you like it or not. To stay up to date with my channel and to make sure you do not miss any of my future content, be sure to click the circle in the middle of the screen to subscribe or you can click the subscribe button below. And I also handpicked a few videos out that I think you'll really enjoy so if you want to watch them click either of the rectangles on the side of the screen as always I hope you enjoyed and learned something new thanks for watching